he is not about to cook the 501st Specialist Pack. Sprite? No. No. <laughs> oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to LEGO Empire. But before we start this video, I have a huge announcement. We now have a website where you can buy awesome uh, custom LEGO Star Wars products such as Clone Shields for very, very cheap. And for a limited time only, we're going to be running an 11% off discount site-wide on every single product. Um, when you add items to your cart, you will see that discount code. It'll automatically be applied. And so, yeah, this is going to be limited. It's going to last only three days or maybe only two days from this video i'm not sure so you know make sure to take advantage of those deals link to the website is in the description now let's kick off part two of ask the empire this is a series where you ask the empire questions and maybe you'll get an answer and if you're not in this week's episode make sure to leave a comment down below with your question and maybe you'll be in next week's episode i'm going to start doing these every single monday you know except for today today is a saturday at least for me so it is a bit of an exception but every monday after this uh we'll have an ask the empire episode so make sure to leave your question below and get ready for that enough talk let's get right into the questions lego life 332 asks if you could have any star wars set ever what would it be? Love the vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Lego Life. Awesome. Um, it's always nice to see people that are enjoying our videos. That makes me want to make even more of them. Um, if I could have one Star Wars set, if I could choose one Star Wars set to have for free off shelves, and that was the only set in my collection, you know, I'm, I'm adding to the question. That's not exactly what you asked. Um, but if I could have one set and that set alone, I think I would go with the 2018 Cloud City. Um, you know, the Master Builder series set. It is just so awesome. It has like perfect minifigure selection, perfect build, an awesome slave one that's scaled down. Like it is just absolutely amazing. I mean, the only thing they could have added to it is an Imperial shuttle, but I don't know if that would fly because you know, that would just be a, a few too many parts, maybe a little over the top. So I think honestly, that set is one of my most favorite Star Wars sets of all time that I like, I don't have in my hands. I've never had in my hands. So if I was to choose one set, that would probably be my pick. Dino David asks, what would be your favorite clone army set that LEGO could make? So, this is, okay, Le I don't know if LEGO would actually make this, you know, it's, this is a pipe dream, like this is the biggest pipe dream of all time, <clears throat> it doesn't even make sense to release this as, as a set, but I've always really liked the scene from Attack of the Clones where, you know, it's at the end of the movie, you see Chancellor Palpatine, you see um, all the clone troopers lined up on Coruscant, all the clone vehicles. That is the scene that I want in LEGO, just in a humongous clone army set. Like, it's, it's I know, it's, it's based off Attack of the Clones scene, it's Attack of the Clones uh, anniversary, so, you know, um, obviously LEGO would never make that, like, it's just, there's no possibility, and there's no reason for them to really make something like that. Um, they're probably gonna make, like, a UCS Venator in, in the coming years, or something along those lines, and, like, that's, that's huge. But, like, this is just, it's never gonna happen, it's not realistic, and it doesn't really make sense as a set, but if there's one set for, like, clone army building that I would want, it would be that set. Brickyard Nation asks, what are your thoughts on the new TIE Bomber? So, I really love the new TIE Bomber, the minifigures and the build, like, everything about it is honestly perfect, in my opinion, except for one small detail, which is... Um, Ray Sloan, the new Imperial named uh, officer we got in that set, could have used some extra detailing. Like, I don't even think she really got leg printing. She could have had dual molded legs if they didn't want to add leg printing. I mean, all they have to add is a few lines, really, on an, like, Imperial officer um, legs, and then it looks great. Like, I have my TIE Bomber right up here. Like, this, this build is absolutely, like, it, it's just amazing. Like, the way the cockpit opens up, I just, I love this thing. It comes with an ex exclusive TIE Bomber pilot, which looks like any other TIE pilot that you'll ever see. But this is just a beautiful build. The wing design, everything about it. The scaled down size is just perfect. I might have to go and uh, buy some more of these, honestly, because I, I just love them so much. I love that set so much that I felt inspired to create an entire TIE Fighter display on this shelf. So I'm showing you some footage right now. I even have the TIE Bomber box behind it as a little backdrop. That is how much I love this set. So thanks for your question, Brickyard. And Nate Dog 101 asks, 
what 2022 minifigure do you think will be the most expensive in two to three years? So it is very difficult to find this out, and it has gotten especially hard for a figure, new figures, I mean, to gain value a ton because you have these Mexico factories now mass producing figures, and you know, you can get Commander Cody's for like 15 bucks a pop. And then when it gets to that, it's like, how is it ever going to increase in value if they're just mass producing more and more of them? Um, so I think to answer this, I'm going to talk about one that hasn't been mass produced and it was on shelves in 2022. It is now retired. It is the Armored uh, Marauder. So, I think it's called Armored Marauder. I don't know if there's like Imperial in the name or anything like that. But the yellow artillery stormtrooper in that set could very well be worth something in the near future. If we've seen anything in the past few years, um, random variants of Imperial-related troopers in the Empire, they just gain value. Like the Mimban Stormtrooper, it was a one-time gig in a set, and it is like, you know, it's it's. I think it's nearly um, the same price as the TIE Fighter set that it came in when it was uh, on shelves, so that is pretty insane. There are some other figures that are Imperial, that are just like that. You got the Scarif Stormtrooper, you got the Death Trooper. You have all these figures that were widely available on shelves, but and they're just exclusive kind of um, Imperial minifigures, and people want them. Heck, even the like the number one Stormtrooper design, in my opinion, from like that was used in Rogue One sets, and a little bit before that, is $8 now, like for a regular Stormtrooper. And Stormtroopers are in so many sets. It is crazy. Like, just Imperial figures, they gain value so quickly. I think that, you know, the... Uh, yellow artillery trooper, it could go up in value tremendously. I mean, someday it could be worth 30, 40 bucks, you know, the same price that, uh, the whole Marauder was going for when it was on shelves. Um, obviously it's not going to happen like one year from now. One year from now, it's probably going to be like in the $20 price range. Right now, I think it's already like $15, $16, somewhere around that, that price on Bricklink. And that is already pretty good for a figure that just you know, it's on shelves in a set that was on sale for like 33 bucks. I mean, that is a pretty expensive figure for a widely available set that doesn't even cost that much. So thank you for your question. Strife asks, what is your favorite Lego set ever? Now, I don't really have a favorite Lego set or Lego Star Wars set. However, I am very fond of Lego Ninjago sets because those were like the first Lego sets I have ever really had other than like maybe Duplo when I was really young. But like when I was in, I think, kindergarten, you know, around the age of four or five, six, um, I had Lego Ninjago sets. But there is one Lego Star Wars set that has a special place in my heart, which is the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor from 2014. That was actually my first Lego Star Wars set ever. My mom's friend gifted it to me and... Um, yeah, that is, that was the beginning of me being a Star Wars fan and a Lego Star Wars fan. I'm actually at the set over here, one second. All right, here it is in all of its glory. This is not the original one that I had when I was younger. Here, I'll fix these wings really quick. I actually just bought this one off of Mercari for about 30 bucks. It did come with, uh, all the figures and everything. So, you know, I got a good deal on it. Um, but this fighter is just so awesome. They made an updated one in 2020. And of course, that one, that model is probably just a little bit better um, in some regards. There's not much you can improve about a model like this, but you know, 2020, they probably improved on the model. Um, however, the figure in this set is much better because it is actually accurate. I don't want to get into that right now, but this just holds a special place in my heart. You know, that Darth Vader box art um, on there, and it, it is just an awesome set. It is a perfect, like, first set for any kid. It comes with the main character of the prequels and R2-D2. I mean, that is... Like, it's not crazy for any collectors that have been collecting for a long time, but it is pretty nice, um, especially as a first set. It kind of got me into the theme, and I wouldn't be here today without this set, so there you go. General Delta asks, do you think LEGO is going uphill or downhill with set quality for price slash fan demand? So, this is kind of an interesting uh, topic because I do think um, in some ways LEGO's quality is going down, and in some ways it's going up. Let me explain. Uh, so, I think in recent years, or in, in years before now, like, let's say, let's say up to 2014, 2015, um, Lego had a really good quality, like, just a really good knack at adding in little things that made sets so good, and just adding extra things that they didn't really have to, to make sets awesome. Um, so the prime example of this is Anakin's Jedi Interceptor from 2012, 2010, I think it was around, um, 
that year. It was it was green from Revenge of the Sith and was based off of Musafara. And instead of just coming with, you know, Anakin, R2-D2, the standard things, it came with, I believe, a security battle droid, new gun ray, Obi-Wan, and included even two platforms for the Mustafar duel. It was like a two-in-one set, and it is awesome. I mean, if you want to buy it nowadays, it's over $100. Honestly, that is almost, like, worth it to me. That is how awesome this set is uh, to me. I have no idea what it retailed for, probably around like 50 bucks or so, I'm not sure. Um, but that set, like, Lego just added in extra things, and they didn't really have to, but looking back on that set, I am so fond of it, because it is just awesome, it includes all this extra stuff. I have the new Gunray figure from that set, I don't have any other figures from that set, but the new Gunray figure from that set is so, it was so cool. Such a step up from the Clone Wars new Gunray, which, you know, not gonna complain about that, the Clone Wars one was accurate, but this one looks so much better, and... As, like, it's just, comparing it to nowadays, Lego, they barely give us the bare minimum sometime. Like, for example, Lego, they used to not be scared of adding in extra little things, and nowadays, like, can you just imagine if Lego still did things how they used to? If they did, Obi-Wan Starfighter from Attack of the Clones that we got, um, early 2022 in the Summer Wave, I guarantee you it would have included a Jango Fett and maybe even a Young Boba as well as that Kaminoan. The Kaminoan was great, great in Central Dubai, but Jango Fett hasn't been in this set for, like, a decade now. Like, it's, it's getting insane. Um, except for the, uh, Obi-Wan's Starfighter with Hyperdrive wing Ring, that huge one, right? But... Other than that, you know, we haven't gotten Jingle Fett in a very affordable set lately, and that would have been just awesome, and add in Young Boba in there, and it's like a top-tier Attack of the Clones set. That's all we would really need for Attack of the Clones. Um, you know, maybe give us a Dexter's Diner for the May 4th promo, but that, just, can you imagine if that happened? Like, that would be so great. So awesome. I mean, not for people that are investing in the Jango Fett minifigures, but <laughs> for everyone else, it would be great. Um, thank you for your question. Moving on. Uh, Mr. Mind Machine asks, I noticed the new Executor Star Destroyer, it has a random 2x2 two two grill on the base, and it looks to me like a minifigure was scrapped at the last second. If that, if you think that is the case, why and who do you think it was? So it's actually very interesting. Um, it is in the perfect, if you look at this picture, that 2x2 two two grill piece is in the perfect spot to put a minifigure, and it reminds me of, you know, every UCS set that's come out in recent times, there's been a minifigure in a spot just like that, and this is actually super, super interesting, because, you know, it could just be some extra little greebling Lego added on there, so that uh, second half of the uh, display stand was in all black, you should add some color variation, make it all um, blend nicely together, and not look too, um, watered down, you know, but it also could have been a scrapped figure, and if it was a scrapped figure, I think it was Admiral Pete Piet, however you pronounce his name, the person who um, commanded, he was a captain of the uh, ship in uh, Empire Strikes Back, I'm not sure about Return of the Jedi, um, you're gonna have to help me out on that one, uh, but Empire Strikes Back, I believe he was the captain in there, and so that would have been an awesome figure to get. Can you imagine in like a $70, 18 plus display set, we get that awesome model, right? And then we get an Admiral um, Piet uh, minifigure with arm printing. Like that would be insane. Maybe even some dual molded legs. That'd be crazy. Like that, I would buy that set first day. I'm probably still going to because it is an awesome display set for someone such as myself, you know, Lego Empire. Um, but like th this is super crazy. I mean, honestly, if we got any minifigure in it, I'd probably be happy, because I know it just adds some extra value to the set. Like, unless I add, like, if I, if I added in a TIE Fighter pilot or something stupid, then I, I would have been mad. But, you know, if I added in some regular old Imperial officer with a new face print or printed arms or something, I would be happy with that, too. But just think about what figures we could have gotten with this set. Like, can, just can you imagine? Mr. Mind Machine also asks if I can react to one of his videos called How to Build a Lego Set. So, we're gonna get right into that. Alright, we got our headphones on, uh, let's get right into this. Alright, it's on Amazon. Turn this down a little bit. Alright, Power First Battle Pack. Good pick, good pick. Oh, alright. <laughs> you don't gotta watch on, buddy. I gotta watch on. Alright. What's happening? Oh, is that his delivery truck or delivery car? Yeah, wait, he just no. Oh my gosh, dude. 
What on earth? Oh, I some doom music kicked in. Uh oh. Oh no, dude. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't don't guys don't do this. Oh, he's got a hammer. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> he's breathing super hard in this video. He's mad. What did the battle pack do to you? It has great figures. Okay, continues to kick it. Oh yeah, kick it right into the steps. There you go. Oh, missed the steps. Well, oh, nope, we're turning around. There you go. Bam. All right. Um. Oh, punching it too. Yeah, you gotta add some punches in there. You can't just kick it. You gotta have variety. You know. All right. Oh, he's inside now. Oh, he's got the hammer. Dude, where is he right now? Where is he? It's behind the door, buddy. It's behind the door. Oh. Oh, he he missed that. You okay? The hammer again. All right. Can you just open it? What? When are you gonna open it? Is this just gonna be the whole video? Oh my gosh. This is just foul. I mean, this is probably how this is how Amazon treats my packages. This is how I got my Fire First Battle Packs. The boxes were so deformed. All right, it's an unboxing now. All right, let's see. Is everything still gonna be in good shape? Okay, he's cutting it open. Got a nice little knife there. All right, all right, everything looks to be in order so far. Oh, yeah, beat up the box, there you go. All right, what's next? No, no, not the parts. Leave the clones alone. Oh, wait, why is he on a, why is he on a baking pan? No. He is not about to cook the 501st Specialist Pack. What? Oh, yep, got that piece. Okay. <clears throat> don't. Don't. Please don't. Okay, you got some extra... Oh, not the accessories, too. The visors and everything. Oh, that, yep, put that back in. Okay. He's cooking it up. I see it. I see ya. Uh, Sprite? No! No! <laughs> oh, this hurts to watch. This hurts to watch. Oh, it's cooking now. I cannot believe this guy is cooking a 501st Battle Pack. Oh, putting the parts back in. You missed you miss some, buddy. He missed some. Marshmallows? What are you cooking up, my man? What? Uh, let rest for five minutes? Oh. Wow. That works, guys. Try it. Uh. Yo, what the? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I will not be subscribing. <laughs> Who, this is a psychopath. Who in the right mind buys a 501st Battle Pack from Amazon and completely violates it like that? Um, okay. I don't know how I'm going to end the video after seeing that. Well, uh... Thank you all for tuning in. This has been an interesting one. Uh, leave your comments or leave your questions below if you want to be in next week's uh, episode. Or it'll be part three. I'm trying to get to like 100 by, I don't know, three years from now. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, this has been interesting. Maybe don't do that to your 501st Battle Packs at home. I mean, just I, I think you could build them normally and they should come together. You don't need to cook them and you know, make a marshmallow mix. I don't I don't know what he was doing. But anyway, with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Have an amazing day. Peace out.